Hey, DTV fans, what's going on? You're watching Infinite DTV. Let's run that epic intro right now. Welcome back, welcome back. Hopefully you guys had an awesome week. Uh, we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently this time around. I'm actually gonna be splitting this episode into two parts. Uh, the company that I work for actually took me and several of the employees down for a six-day retreat to Disney World. Yes, everything was paid for. That includes the hotel, the drinks, the food, the express passes. Had a wonderful time. Visited all the main parks. Um, and there's just way too much footage for me to keep talking right now. Um, so we're going to basically start off this episode with day one. And... Um, pretty much go to day three and then do the rest uh, next week's episode. So without further ado, I'm just going to stop talking right now and we're going to run the tapes. Here we go. Currently at the airport, about a board for Orlando, leaving in about an hour and a half, something like that. So there's not much to choose from as far as food goes here at Bradley. Papa Gino's is closed, and there's Fresh City. We got some Dunkin'. I'm not trying to eat healthy. So I went with uh, the next best thing. They also had some seafood place, but I don't trust airport seafood. Finally got to Orlando. It's about 8.45 right now. About to go and check out the hotel. Oh my god. Anyways, you were apparently not looking for us. I was looking at my phone, taking care of some business, going we kept, to the men's we room kept, and going. We didn't. We stopped right before the men's room. There's a group of us right there. You, walked, you apparently walked right by us. We didn't apparently see I did. It's not our up. responsibility to find you. <laughs> There's the hoopty. It's like driving a little, like the driving a little bus. Alright, we can check in. Check in. Alright, so we're about to go and check out the room. No idea what it looks like, but I am on. The highest floor of everybody that I came with. It is room 1132. That's right, the 11th floor. 1132. Ice machine there. Very convenient. 1136. 1132. Here we go. Buddy, 
Get that pool down there. Let's do the bed test. Oh. They like the bed. I think this hotel is gorgeous. I mean, it's got tons of activities, tons of things that we can do in here. Bike rentals, eh, not really gonna do that. Uh, here we go for restaurants. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13 spots to eat. Uh, of course, they got their golf that you saw out the window, shopping centers. They got an arcade. Look at that. Interesting. What else we got? Oh, shit. They got a little schedule. Look at that. Um, hula hoop contests. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, today is Tuesday. What's on for Wednesday? Seahorse craft kits. Giant Jenga. Oh, hell yes. Hell yes. They got water slides here? Word? Oh, damn. What's up, guys? It's officially day two here in Orlando. We're at the Omni Resort. Today, we're going to Epcot. Super excited. I haven't been there since I was like 12, 13 years old, so it's going to be interesting to see what they got. Um, but first, we are going to head over to like CVS, hit up a package store, grab some things for the room. I um, want to show you this really quick. It's pretty cool. My girlfriend picked up a flask from Spencer's. Pretty discreet, so I can walk right into Disney's parks, and they won't check this thing. So basically, just pop the cap, pour your liquor in. And you are good to go. So last night I showed you the view from my room of what it looks like at night. And this is what I'm looking at during the day. As you can see, a golf course view is not too shabby. And I'm not really sure what those are down there, but they look like complexes. There's the other side. We're gonna pick this thing up in a high gear in just a little bit, but right now I'm going to take a look around and see what this hotel's got to offer. So there's like 52 ballrooms in this place, 36 meeting rooms, it's massive. I don't even know where I'm going right now, I'm lost. So I literally just got back to the hotel and I mean literally, I mean my feet were walking under the entrance as soon as it started. And if you're from Florida, you know these pop-up thunderstorms happen all the time. This is a typical day for Floridians. So it's about, well, I'd say it's almost one o'clock right now. We're heading out in the next couple hours. Hoping that the storm settles. If not, no big deal, we'll just get soaked. Still gonna enjoy the day. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to lay down, take a nap, watch a movie, put all these groceries away. Yeah. Yeah.
size doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like frozen fizz at the top. <laughs> we are currently walking around the world right now. We're in Italy. We went through Japan and we went through France and Canada. And it'll be interesting to see what we come up next. It's a lot. It used to be nice, but they fucking ruined it. Like Sinaloa Cartel or? Some of them were tourists. No, no, no. On the what same ride? The Sinaloa Cartel that oh, I don't know. So, to, a few uh, months ago, 36 people were killed in like 24 hours. <laughs> I have that. I know the history. Day three here in Orlando. Feeling a little rougher on the edges this morning. Um, changed the game up yesterday. Instead of bar hopping, we world hopped, which actually sounds a little bit cooler. Um, today's universal. Probably the most exciting day of the uh, retreat. About to take a step outside, get in the water, get some rays. Kind of sober up a little bit before we jump on some rides. So we got plenty of sun today. Food is in my future. Starving right now. I do now know where I'm going. I, I haven't gotten lost yet. I swear to God, this man over here has been power washing these steps for like two days straight. It's about 90 degrees, something like that. Thinking about going back up into the room. I'm resting up a little bit, grab something to eat. Universal is about to be epic. I cannot wait. I'm pretty sure the Harry Potter ride is there. From what I hear, it's almost exactly like the movie. But we will see. I'm going to get my stuff, head back in, and I will catch up with you guys later. Just had some lunch. About to head to Universal Studios. I literally cannot wait to go there. I mean, 10 plus years. They've added quite a few stuff from the last time that I was there. I'm pumped, guys. I'm super pumped. About to meet up with the crew right now. Head that way. I'll catch you guys in a bit. It's all right. Ooh, lightning strike, see that? Yeah, it's wrong about this Chinese buffet place we went to with Chinese down here. Yeah. It was all blue food. It was really fucking Ew. Cool. In water. It's kind of like all floating in water and it was all yeah. blue. Ron's. It was so freaking weird. It was like aliens were eating there. <laughs> it's like that scene in Galaxy Quest where they give exactly. <laughs> it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Just like that. Rod and I had like an egg roll.
Beautiful day, eh? Yep. <laughs> oh my god. You got a map? Nah, you just make a recording. <laughs> We're about to get in line for the Hulk, but they closed down for lightning. Gonna have to wait a little bit longer. We might not get on the ride. Just got off Spider-Man. Spider-Man was dope. Had a lot of 4D elements. It's really fun. Um, a lot of people left because of the rain, which is good because we were able to get on pretty quickly. And uh, we have the express passes, so that makes life a lot easier. But hopefully whatever's coming through kind of moves out so that way we can get onto these coasters. Right now we're taking the Hogwarts train over to the other side of the park. Uh, we got some some heavy storms headed our way. So hopefully they'll hold off. That's cool. much going to do it for this week's episode if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button down below like the video share the video talk about it amongst your friends and until next week i will catch you guys later for days four through six deuces